Jam Silent Doom. Now back to Carnage. Carnage actually recently lost to Mint. Uh, Irish possible number one, but basically top two of Ireland. He stated to me after the set that he was very nervous and it did show. Carnage is actually quite comfortable in the Rosalina matchup, but he wasn't playing on form against Mint. And fortunately, he just about lost. It ended up on a trade, uh, on a near trade between um, his health and, or his fair and Mint's up smash in game three. He's looking to probably redeem himself with this match against Omega. Having lost to Omega in the past, and I've, he's told me as well that when he lost to Omega for the second time, I believe, he decided enough was enough and he would just grind out the Rosalina matchup until he was formidable with it. And formidable he is now. We'll see who comes out top today. The winner of it will be going into winner's semis, playing uh, against potentially Silent Doom or Jams. I've just been informed that Mega Dean 2 0 the Tano Circus. Putting him against Blessed Spartan next. Nova prevailed against Wunsum, so he's looking to redeem Essex. And Reptile is facing LDR 100. So friends meet for losers round four. Looking interesting. There we go. Omega, White, Rosalina, Carnage, White, Peach. You can say they're both are uh, donning their wedding gowns for this event. Battle of the Brides. We're seeing them go to Smashville for round one. Carnage starting with a very odd full hop option for himself. Sending him a bit higher, getting punished by up air as a result. Goes into shield and Omega just grabs him. There we go. Fair will see him take out Luma with a free hit combo there. Evening up the percent. Going in with an empty hop. It's a grab. And edge guarding. Omega fairly well here. Omega uh, he regains a Luma for this fight, only to lose it to Peach Bomber. This is this is already looking quite devastating for Omega in this first set. We'll see if that changes. Goes in for the fair and again, oh, but miss bases it. Gets hit by up, up smash. Still in the lead, takes out Luma once again with Peach Bomber, but gets grabbed as a result. A nice pivot grab from Omega. Sets it back in the air. And Omega's finally in the lead. Omega's going to struggle to kill Carnage without Luma, but he's just got Luma back. And then loses it. <laughs> Carnage has been very efficient in taking out uh, Luma. Like I said, he, he does know this matchup fairly well. Oh, a very, very unfortunate Peach Bomber there from Carnage. Uh, I was about to say it puts him into a losing position, but we just reset! Yeah! This has been very even so far between the two of them. Both being re rather patient. Carnage separated Luma and Rosa for a bit, and this now he just gets rid of Luma. Bit too early with that down M means that he misses the edge guard. 
and there being a bit too high there means that he misses any opportunity for a punish. Once again, he takes out uh, Luma. Finally getting some punishment with that dare. Trying to go for the crown with his options there. And gets a toad counter from a button press. I believe it was a dash attack from Omega. Oh lord. Catches the turnip and bears. They're just playing past the parcel with this turnip. Oh, it's gone now. Dash attack sends Omega high into the sky. And oh! Looking like he's going to try and spike Peach, but nowhere near as strong as it needed to be. Loses Luma once again, but perfect shields. The, fa uh, the fully spaced fair. Still seeing some trouble here, but he's back on stage. Misses his up air, but not his up smash. This could go either way at the moment. He's going to lose Luma for that, but he gets the grab. Carnage. Oh, could this be it? Not quite. Carnage, if he wants to... Uh, I was about to say, if he wants to take out uh, Omega without Luma, he doesn't need to worry about it. Crowns. Rosalina takes game one. Omega looking to try and redeem himself in game two. It wasn't too bad from Omega. Looking quite close. Played very patiently as he does. And despite losing Luma pretty much all the time in that game. He took to trying to get as many down air pressure games. Carnage takes out Luma. Just like he has. That's going to go. Oh, he misses the first attempt at back air from down throw. Gets the second on. We're looking kind of even here. Mega go for a good get up attack option. After, uh, acknowledging that Carnage missed the edge guard's choice. Punishes it. Gets punished even for an S smash. Misses a dash attack. Again misses the edge guard. Choice. Punishes it. Gets punished even for an S smash. Misses a dash attack. Again misses the edge guard. A drop shield or maybe even a shield poke from Omega. Puts him in a precarious situation. Nearly gets edge guard again. Loses Luma once again. Cartilage knowing that he can just use fair if Rose is right by the ledge. And he will definitely get Luma off. Grab, uses Smashville's platform to get a forward throw into the blast zone. Takes the first game. First stock even. Omega looking like he's going to enter losers. If he's not careful here, he'd be put into losers round five. Should that happen? If Omega does lose this set, he'll be placed against LDR 100, a link player. And just keeps Carnage in the air long enough for him to take the Carnage's stock. Finally back in the game, but oh dear. Carnage looks to try to get an us smash, but gets bad as a result. I'd have thought that would trade, but not in this case. Carnage is doing an amazing job of getting rid of Luma in this set, time and time again. Whether it, whether uh, Omega's constant choice of going close to the ledge. Um, oh. This could be it. It's looking quite even, but Carnage is off stage here. Fades away to avoid getting caught by <coughs> Omega's 
Oh, smash, sorry there. All right, Carnage needs to take this time to basically close out the stock. The longer he, the longer he leaves this, the more raised Omega will potentially accumulate. And like, I was about to say, the Luma will come back. Omega finally moving Luma away from getting hit by Fair close to the ledge, making that option a bit more favorable to him. Peach Bomber over. Getting bad as a result. Tries a bear of his own. This is really close. His, his attempt to try and knock Luma off stage didn't work, but it did work that time. Will he finish this? Or will Omega take this to game three? Empty jump into grab. Sends Omega off stage again. Grabs him again. Doesn't get the edge guard once again, but he gets the fair. 2 0 Carnage. Carnage goes into. Carnage goes into winners. Winners semis. Waiting for his opponent. And. Omega gets sent into losers round five, where, as I said beforehand, he will face LDR 100. A good performance by Carnage. Not as strong as I've seen him in that matchup, but he has had an entire weekend of competing. As I said, did it really well to come fifth at height spotting. And he's come straight back from that, literally jumping off the train a couple hours before this tournament started and headed straight to this venue. To compete yet again very diligent competitor putting him in putting him in guaranteed fifth now for this week's edition of meltdown